Hey guys, what's up? On this video, I'm gonna discuss the usage of a certain perk on the alien killer on Dead by Daylight, which is play with your food. It's a Michael Myers perk that every time your obsession escapes, you gain a totem. And this totem gives you a 5% like haste effect, which just makes you faster. And every time you do a base attack or a special attack, it just loses the totem. So it can go up to 3 totems, so you can get a 15 speed boost with your killer. But every time you do a basic attack, just usually with, it's the case for most killers, you lose the totem, you lose the speed boost. But with the alien it's different, because once he, got, he gets into this friends mode, the tail mode, the tail attack doesn't make you lose this totem, because it doesn't count as like a base attack, whatever. I don't know if this is a bug, some people think it's a bug that is gonna, gonna fix it, but well, with this, what this calls is that as long as you get the totems and you are able to just only use the tail, never use a, 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 a claw attack, like the basic attack, you're gonna be able to keep the, the speed boost during the whole match. First thing that I did here, I used Leto Pursuer so I can identify where the obsession is. In this case, it's mad. Oh, this is a match against bots. I, I It was taking too long for me to find like a public match. Uh, because everybody's playing has and it was just taking too long during the public test trial. So I just decided to just test it out because my, my focus here is just mainly to test the speed boost to see if it makes much difference. I just tested it in a private game against bots. So I found with Little Pursuer the aura which located me the obsession. I went for the obsession, I just gave it like one hit and I just left it alone. I just gained the totem, I gained like the speed boost, and I'm just gonna go for to the survivors. So while I'm, I'm gonna be hitting the survivors, I'm gonna be trying to get them down, hook them, just, you know, the usual, like, things that the killer needs to do in a match. And I'm gonna be trying to, like, between every time I hook someone, I'm gonna try to look for the obsession again. But sometimes it's kinda tricky, sometimes they, the obsession can hide, whatever, but, like, I'm trying, like, my best to find where the obsession is. I might want, to, I decided to use, like, other packs that was recommended, like, on the internet. Like a bamboozo and the other one from Wesker, which just makes you like vault easier, block like vault. So, like that kind of helps like the, the mobility because not only you get the speed boost, but you can do the vaults faster. So it helps a lot. But I'm considering maybe changing for Barbara Queen Chili, another one with reading hours, because I want to find the uh, obsession more times, which was not more really the case. Like I was able to find the obsession easy at the start because Little Pursuer helped me, but in order of like during the rest of the match. It took me a while to get more totems. Right now, I'm keeping one totem, so like I'm playing with a 5% speed boost on the alien, and it does help a lot. Okay, to catch up to survivors from... I think that this speed helps, like... But, and the good thing is that like, I'm focusing on only using the tail, so I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna lose it. Uh, uh, I think here, did I manage to spot the obsession? I don't remember, but I just decided to go for the other guy. <laughs> I'm kinda like almost tunneling the guy, but I'm like, yeah, looks to be him. Here, I'm like, I think there was, a, there was another one around here. No. I'm not even caring about that guy, to be honest. I just want to, I was just trying to look for the obsession. Because I just want to get to the three totems to see if it's really going to make that much difference. If it's really going to be like, maybe OP. To just have an alien on constant 15% uh, speed boost. And together with Bamboozo and the other uh, Parrot there, you can not only move faster, you can move and catch up to survivors faster. But you can also be able to vault faster, block the vaults, like you can... Just move, do the animations faster, so it's kind of like very good for chasing. It might be, the alien killer might be like the ultimate killer for chasing survivors in this game. Like, don't even care much about, if you can just down survivors extremely fast, you don't even have to care much about controlling generators. If they cannot like escape you, if you are always downing them fast, because you can always catch up with them fast, attack them fast. Like, the, the alien tail attack already has a great range. It's great for being able to attack survivors that are a little further away from you. Especially in situations where they're gonna be vaulting, using windows, dropping pallets, and the tail can just go through it. Uh, just very useful overall. And if you can, the only problem with this is that to destroy a turret, most people that destroy turrets, they're gonna do a basic attack. That's the problem. And the turret removes you from the from the frenzy mode, so you have to watch out for the turrets. Like the main weakness of this build is that if you just bump into a turret and the flame is just take take the frenzy away with this frenzy mode with the tail. You're kind of screwed. You're going to lose the totem and it's going to be out for nothing. Like, and it's going to take a while for you to find the obsession again and get the totems again. Like, look, I can uh, jump to the vault like faster and just go to the chase. Even with all, one totem, I feel like a little bit of a... How did I miss them? Uh, the tail is kind of weird. I think the bot got the bugger here. We got stuck. But anyway, uh, I already feel like a little bit of an advantage with just one, one totem. And I'm just like, where is the obsession? Where is Meg? I just want to find the obsession again. I think I, I maybe I should have like at the start I should have like left the obsession, gained the totem, went back to the obsession, just kept like 
chasing and unchasing her over and over until I got to three totems. Maybe that would be a... Uh, but I'm just testing it. I'm just testing to build right now. I And this was my last match, which I, I managed to play as the alien. I could not play like any more matches. So right now, next time I will be able to test this perk on the alien. Uh, it's going to be on the... When it, when it came out officially at the end of this month, month you know. But so far, uh, I, I was able to get the totems later into this match right now. Oh yeah, here, here's the problem. If the turret, I need to watch out for the turrets, not make me lose, like, I, I can, if you by mistake end up, like, pressing the, the left mouse, just a basic attack, you're gonna lose the totem. So, I, I'm trying to be careful to never use my claws, like, with this build, it has to be, like, a tail-only attack build. And even with turrets, you just have to be very careful, like, go around, like, like this, look at this. I'm just going around the environment, and I, it didn't work. I was trying to go around the rocks to be able to, like, do a tail attack, because you can destroy the turrets with the tail, you know? It is possible. But it's just like easier to just use the claws, but I don't want to lose the totem. But you can definitely do it with tail, but you just have to watch it like from the sides and use the environment to block the flames from hitting you. So you don't, because it doesn't take very long for the turret's flames to make you get out, out of, out of the, uh, the, the tail mode, the frenzy mode, whatever. I don't remember the name. Oh yeah, here, look at this. I'm just going around. I want to destroy this turret. But again, it just makes me lose. But then what I do is that every time I, I get out of the frenzy mode, I just enter a tunnel because the re it recharges faster. You can go into the tail mode much faster if you just go through the tunnel. So you just like, keep, keep keep tunneling. It's a different type of tunneling that killers are used to, but just keep tunneling. And you'll be able to get into the tail mode really fast again. Really, I, at this point, I was just looking for mag. I just wanted to get mag again. So I, I'm just going to hit her once, let her go, gain the extra totem. But I just keep bumping to the other ones. Like, it's, like the, it's like the bot knows that it's still possession. Oh, no, here. There is mag. And I managed to not like get out of the... Uh, here, I got a nice hit. The flames of the turret didn't manage to take me out. And now I'm just going to leave mag. And yeah, I gain an extra totem. I'm, I'm at two totems right now. With the, uh, the perk there. And now I'm already like moving a little bit faster here. Ah, that was so close. That was gonna be a, such a close hit. I just hit the generator. I just need to find Mag one more time, and I'm gonna have like the uh, permanent uh, three totems, which is gonna give me a 15 speed boost as the Aiden. How was that a myth? Like there's something like on the on like you have to outshot. Like when you go to like a vault like that, you need to like to go like stay like 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 this, you know. You cannot like shoot, hit the tail from the sides when you try to use it in, in a survivor that is like going through a vault, you know? You have to like to be like standing like in front of it where he's gonna jump. Otherwise, like I think the it just the, the like the, the vault, like the environment just kinda blocks the hit from the tail. But this has potential, like this perk together with the alien might be very good. It might be something that... It's like... I think the alien might be the only killer which doesn't lose a totem. Because all the other ones, like the basic attacks, the special attacks, usually makes you lose a totem. Once you, like... Uh, this perk, like, once you use one totem, you, you do one attack, you lose it. But with the alien, I mean, so far from what I've been seeing, it's like the only one where that is not the case. Like, that, that is not going to be happening. So, play with your food with the alien. Like, it might be, like, the best killer to use this perk on, you know? Here, yeah, there's a little turret there. I want to destroy with the tail. Try to just go around and get a little bit closer to it. Just so, yeah, here. Look, I'm gonna be able to destroy with the tail, and then I don't lose the totem because I don't have to destroy with the base attack. Because it doesn't matter where you use the base attack, it can be either on the turrets, on a survivor. If you do it, you're gonna you're gonna lose the one of the totems, and the, there before you're gonna lose the speed boost. Right here, just looking for another survivor. They, they the bots did not manage to do one gem, and I mean the bots in this game, they're not like they're not as good as like good players. But they're not like as bad as the ones in Hunting Ghost. They're not like that dumb, you know. The bots in this game, usually when I test like a build in private matches against the bots, they can do like generators fast. Like, at least shoot generators, they're usually done fast. In, in this so far, oh, they managed to do one. But usually like, they usually takes them like less time to do. Oh, here was, I managed to, to hit her with the tail just as I was about to lose this mode uh, because of the turret that was like hitting me there. And here I'm just gonna get grab her, but I'm I'm, I'm not gonna destroy turrets. I'm not gonna destroy turrets unless I can do them with the tail. Otherwise, no. But the, the counterplay for survivors in this situation is always try to use the turrets to just make you remove, like to to make you lose the frenzy mode. You know, like that. That's just about good placement of turrets to survivors to be able to counter this. And you have to gonna have to be careful with the turrets so you don't lose this because 
it's already taking so long for me to get to three totems, you know? Imagine, I mean, this is because I didn't lose them. Imagine if I had lost one of the totems because I accidentally used one of the base attacks, you know, in the survivors. In this situation, I'm not losing a totem, but it's still, in certain matches, like, sometimes, unless you get lucky with finding the obsession, it takes so long for you to be able to get to three totems and get like, the full speed boost, which is really, like, what really makes this perk really be worth using on the Aiden. Oh, yeah, another one here. Yeah, it makes me lose. I, I'm just gonna go to the tunnel. Like, I, I lose, I... When I get out of that mode, I just go straight for a tunnel. Because I needed to be recharged faster. I need to get more use. I think the, the alien... Com uh, to be able to master this killer, it's about learning how to use the tunnels. Well, because look at this. When you get out of the tunnel, there are survivors close by. It always shows you the location. Oh, yeah. And also, I'm using add-ons that make me give me, like, uh, improve the speed. There are like uh, certain add-ons on, on, on the Aiden that help with the speed, that give him even more like speed in certain situations, like when you get out of the tunnel, it gives him even more speed boost. And I believe all of those things stack. Here was a good one. I managed to get two survivors down, like very close to each other. Like, so it's gonna be like two, two guys going to the hook right away. I'm trying to bait them uh, as a way to bring the obsession out, because I just want mag. I just want to find the obsession, you know? The obsession managed to heal once again. Like I usually, I find the obsession, I hit it once. Either once, let her go, gain the totem, and just go go use that sp gain its speed boost on the other survivors. But right now, like the mag is taking a while. To oh yeah, one of them died. I was already the last hook, and I'm just yeah, I'm saving saving the obsession for last. But I wanted to just uh, find her a little more times, just a few more times. You no, know, here I see generator that was done this way. But I'm like maybe she's here. Come on, mag, where are you? I need to get the last totem. Was more this more is more of a experimental match like i was just i just wanted to see how the alien because they say i they even call this like a realistic alien build because he used the spur on the alien and you it feels like more like the alien for the movies because it's supposed to be super fast <coughs> he was lucky i managed to destroy the third before they make me lose get out of the mode you know and i managed to do it the tail really fast when you play with this you just have to like don't don't put take your finger out of the key that is used for the primary attack, so you never accidentally end up like using it, like the strike terror, so you never lose the totem. Here there are survival here. Oh, it's a replay. The, the, the obsession is doing a very good job at hiding from me. Here I just hit it once. I'm like, okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna go for the obsession. I need to find the obsession because, to be honest, I, it's not about winning here. I mean, just this is a experimental match against bots. I really just want to, I uh, just test it out how this perk is gonna work with all the totems. So. I'm just, I, I left the I hit play, just go away, and I just want, I want to find Mag, that's really what I want, I just want right now. Find where Mag is, so I can get the last totem. And I mean, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, like, the difference in speed, like, how it can help, like, in certain, certain like, loops, all the survivors are looping one location. Oh, here, I managed, yeah, I lost the frenzy mode, but I still managed to destroy, uh, to destroy the turret. Still managed to do it with the tail. Oh, here is Mag, and now, yeah. I'm just gonna be going after her a little bit. You just have to let her go. Yeah, she's gonna be, I think, looping around here. Ah, I'm just gonna leave her. Bye, Mag. And now I have the last totem. And now, like, the Inan is, like, the fastest that it can be. And just it's just interesting, like, how all, all this perk, like, you, sometimes they add a new killer, they add something new in the game. And one pair can just like become super powerful in that specific color, you know, which is the situation. So right now, because the tail doesn't make you lose the totems, the alien with this pair can be like a possible meta, you know. It's just interesting, like how because of like one certain addiction, like of a killer of a pair, it's like the made for this, like made for this for survivors, which they added that pair and it's like the new meta. Everybody is running that because it just gives you like a big advantage in certain loops, like the speed boost for survivors. And this is pretty much like the same thing. Speed is important in this game. And now, like, maybe maybe if it was not for the speed boost, I would not be able to reach the vault in time and do the tail attack. Oh, yeah. And now the turret. turret stupid turret. Get away. Stop it. And, oh, I, I, that was good. I managed to destroy the turret. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I thought I, thought I, I, thought I had to, like, be able to cap the... Uh, here, I'm gonna, like... I think I'm gonna get her down, even with the claws, because it's already over. Even even two totems, like, you can catch up to her. I, caught, I managed to catch up to her quite fast. But then I had three totems. Now I used the claw attack at the end. I, it went down to two, but, well, match is pretty much over at this point. But even, like, two totems, I believe that you can feel a little difference. Like, the enemy is moving faster. 
Eden can catch up to Survivor fast. And in this game, like, speed is, like, everything. Which is, like, the reason why I made for this. Which is, like, a 3% increase in speed for Survivors. Has become, like, the new meta. Just, like, that small speed boost for Survivors was enough, like, to change the meta of the game. They add one little perk, they make one little change. And boom. Like, the whole meta of the game has changed. And players in this game, they are all about the meta. Like, they are always about trying to find what is the most effective build to run it. They can have, like, always, like, the most... The, Highest win rate possible. And here I'm just catching up to survivors. Which one I'm gonna go for here? Oh, I think I'm gonna. I'll go for Mag. Was it? I was gonna use it, like use her to get a totem. I just went to down her. Yeah. Even with two totems, I think it's enough. With three totems, like this speed boost might be even like more than enough. But here, like, it was enough. And I just can catch up. I. The Aiden already has like good mobility to move around the map because of the tunnels. But when you have like. You play with your food like on, on uh, three, three totems, it becomes like even easier because you can just you just can cross over the map. Faster. Oh, look at this! Oh. And I believe that in, in those situations, like we have to go like around a corner and do the tail. Uh, the play with your food per speed boost helps a lot with that because you can just like if you just move to the corner like half of a second earlier than we thought the perk, you are able to do the strike to hit at the, at the precise moment that that's when you're gonna get the server down. So, requires more testing. When the Aiden officially comes down at the end of this month, I'll be able to test this perk and just overall more builds with the Aiden to see really what is like the most OP and what is, what is like the meta and to see. I want to see like the potential of the Aiden in this game and try to make it like as powerful as it can be.